want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. If I have to beg and plead for your sympathy, I don't mind, cause you mean that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg, and you know it. Please don't leave me now, don't you go. No, if I have to plead, baby, baby. Hey friends, it's Trini Charnay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Hope you stick around. I am doing, of course, another wig review. I am getting deep into this synthetic wig game, y'all. I am trying out the OG, you know, the staple wigs that every wig wearer has, like in their collection. So you saw me review Amani, and now I'm doing Nisha. And now they also have some different Nishas out there in terms of texture and color and, you know, ways they revamped this wig, but I wanted to try out the original. So without further ado, let's get into this video. There are gonna be timestamps along so you can, you know, skip to the parts that you wanna see or I hope you end up watching the whole video. But let's go ahead and get into it. second guessing how this was gonna look on my head. I almost felt like, um, am I about to be like a doo-wop girl? You know, is that what she's giving? Like, <laughs> but you know, she, I made her work. I made her work because, whew, the volume on this one. I'm a lover of volume, but the volume has got me beat on this wig, seriously. So, Let's just go ahead and get into these pros and cons and my final thoughts about this unit. So you know we are gonna start with the pros first, right? Number one, this wig was only $30 on Sam's Beauty website, so the price, right where I want it to be. Secondly, the wig does have volume. It does come with a part. Another big pro is gonna be the length on this unit. Like, you see how far this comes down? I'm not even sure the exact like length of this unit, but I am loving that it is a super long unit. And I guess she's big head friendly. You know, I don't have straight back cornrows. I have some fluffy twists underneath this and she does fit snug though. She fits snug, I will say that. Which means you don't have to worry about her going anywhere, sliding off, the wind blowing and you can wear her glueless. Like, do you see the, ain't no flaps or excess lace or anything like that. Like you can literally wear her glueless. You can wear her in a middle part, but y'all know I'm a side part mommy. You can add some baby hairs to her. It doesn't already come with like baby hairs or anything. I didn't feel like it was necessary. And I think I tried to swoop a little bit right here, but I just was kind of like, whatever. I kind of like it the way it is. So you don't have to fool with a bunch of baby hairs. You don't even have to fool a lot with lace because it's not that much lace on this unit. Um, and the texture is kind of like this yakky texture, kind of like mimicking, you know, natural hair if it was like, you know, flat iron or something like that. So I really do love the texture and it's soft. 
But let's get into these cons. It's not even that many cons about this unit, but let's get into them anyway. So the cons about this unit is the volume is way too big. I never thought I would say that about any wig because you know how some people shortchange us. But, Outre, I'm sorry, this volume is too big. Secondly, I use the hot comb to flatten out the wig some, because as you can see like this part, I think this part is meant to be like your side swoop side bang, so it, it naturally has like this little hump right here. I would have liked to be able to like flatten that out just a teeny bit more, but I got scared once I used my um, hot comb, and I have the hot comb, like I said before, you can't adjust the settings, so I don't even know how hot it gets, but maybe you have another hot comb that you can adjust it. But let me see if I can zoom in, if y'all can see. Some of the hairs got frayed. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I was like pressing gently and quickly with my hot comb, but like <laughs> it started to have that look when you burn some synthetic hair, it started to have some of that look like underneath. Like right here, you can't tell, but if you were to pull apart some strands, huh, man, they would tell a story. So be careful, maybe not use your hot comb, maybe use the back of like a curling iron and turn it on really low heat and like really try to flatten it out some. But I don't even want her to get a little more sleeker and a little more flat, but it's okay. She got body. She just kind of giving me like, oh, you a wig for real. Like, you know, if somebody seen me on the street, they definitely would be like, oh, she got a wig on. Like, I mean, it's cute, but they would definitely be like, she got a wig on for sure, for sure. Now, does she tangle and shed? Listen, this is a synthetic wig, y'all. So she gonna shed and she gonna tangle a little bit, but that's okay. Keep a little pocket comb with you or a pocket brush with you. And just, you know, every, every so often, just, you know, rake her just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. We don't want a bunch of hairs all over our shirt on the floor, embarrassing us, okay? I said just a little bit. So. I really love this unit. It didn't really need any products like mousse or anything. And it was really quick and easy to literally put on within five minutes and go. So I'm loving this unit. I don't know what kind of vibe or, you know, what kind of vibe Nisha's on. I don't know. She's giving me, she's giving me like, I'm sort of like, grown and sexy but I'm also like fun and I love that it comes with like this curl so overall what do I give this unit because she definitely has the body she has a little curl going for her she has the perfect texture and she's soft I think I'm gonna give this unit a 9 out of 10 I think if I could get the volume down just a little more to be like flat like this or a little more like that it would be a 10 for me. That's probably literally the only thing or yeah, the only thing that I would change about this unit. Now, I have been seeing people review this unit in like a different color or they even kind of revamped Nisha. So maybe there's some shorter styles or a little bit of a difference in texture. So I had to go with the OG wig. I had to try out like, you know, the first Nisha wig. It's kind of like a staple in the synthetic wig community. So I'm so glad I tried her out. I'm definitely gonna kind of compare her to the wig review that I'm gonna do on Adana. Sensational drop Adana and Dasha. And I feel like, I feel like they kind of on camera look very similar. So I am excited to kind of try that out and compare it to this unit um, and just kind of see. But I think that unit might be a step up from this one, but we're definitely gonna see. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you try out this wig, leave me a comment, you know, tag me in a photo, something on Instagram and stay connected with me. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.